Congratulations, Henry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hello, Henry. Thank you for coming today. Yeah. I hope you enjoy this. This is I just will. for you. Right on the inside of the All right, folks, since Chief Lyman has arrived, if I could ask you to take your seats, please, and we'll right here, begin please. that recognition right ceremony. It is our pleasure, uh, as on behalf of the Marine Corps as well, to represent uh, our service in recognizing a uh, fine American uh, and someone that I'm uh, proud to be here uh, on that behalf. Uh, so without any further ado, the Chapel Watkins will deliver the invocation. We're glad, Amy. We thank you for this blessed opportunity that you have given us to pay tribute to one of your fellow servants. Please rise for the marching out of the color. crossing to Germany, uh, alone and unafraid. Uh, those are remarkable times and called for remarkable men. Upon returning from that, uh, was able to transition very quickly into being a protector in time of peace. Cared for the sick and wounded in the city of Emeryville, as well as uh, fire protection, before going on to do other things. Henry was born in October of 1918. My history serves me right. That was the year that World War I came to an end. Raised in Emeryville by his maternal grandparents. He attended the Emeryville Public Schools, graduated from Emeryville High School in the class of 1936. He joined up with the U.S. Army in October of 1941. You may recall that in December of that same year, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. Henry was deployed to the European theater to fight Hitler's army. He rose to the rank of staff sergeant. He was awarded the Bronze Star Medal in 1945. He received an honorable discharge in 1945 returned home that same year, and later in 1945, he joined the Emeryville Fire Department. Henry rose through the ranks. He started out as a rookie like I did. But unlike me, he rose to the position of chief of the department. He retired in 1979. He was probably one of the prime movers in modernizing the Emeryville Fire Department. District Chief Winokur mentioned Tom Brokaw's book, The Greatest Generation. Henry is a member of that group. 